Hi and welcome to today's video where we're going to discuss the Tal Companion app. You can download this app on the Android Play Store. If you want to find out how to connect the Tal Digital Telescope to your app, please watch the other video in our series. Once you've downloaded and installed the app, please sign in. Once you've signed in, you'll come to the home screen. This is the main screen from where you can record sounds from the Tal Digital Stethoscope. Today, we're going to discuss all the features on the Tal app, starting with the emergency recording button. The emergency mode is used when you want to do a quick auscultation of many subjects. When you activate the emergency mode, it will ask you if you would like to go into aeroplane mode. Choose based on your preference. The emergency mode is activated when this button turns red. To deactivate, simply click the button. The other icon on the other side of the screen is the device status indicator. It lets you know if your device is connected or not. If it is connected, it will be blue. If it isn't, it's going to be red. Next up is the filter menu. On the Tal app, you can filter sounds that are coming from the device. You can filter for the heart, lungs or bowel sounds. You can also choose to not have a filter or a custom filter. Below the filtering menu is the recording screen. Once you hit the record button, you will see sound waves displayed here. Right below is the amplification menu. This blue dot helps you increase the volume of the sound coming in from the Tal digital stethoscope. Please note that this is the volume of the sound coming in from the stethoscope and not your mobile's volume. To start recording a sound, first put on your Bluetooth headphones. Then, place the Tal digital stethoscope on your chest or your subject's chest and start recording. If you are unhappy with the sound, as I am because I chose a custom filter, I am just going to delete this. Now I am going to pick the heart filter because that's what I want to auscultate. Increase the volume and start recording. Hit the stop button to stop. If you are happy with this recording, hit the yes button. This takes you to the save screen. In the save screen, you can input various parameters about your subject. For example, their name, their patient ID and their phone number. You can also include other health details and observations from the auscultation. You can then save this Next you see the library. The library allows you to see all the recordings that have been made. You can also search for any recording via patient name, patient ID or even phone number. This filter allows you to sort through files by a filtration type like heart filter, lung filter or bowel filter. The best part about the Tal app is that it records the raw sound as well as the filtered sound. No matter how much editing you do, the raw sound will always be preserved for later use. This allows you to go in and edit the sound further in post-processing. What you see here is the edit screen. The first function on the edit screen is cropping. Cropping allows you to select a portion of the sound that you want to focus on. You can then save this file as a separate name. This saved file now shows up in the library as a separate file under the main raw file. You can also edit the patient details and the filter. In this screen, as you can see, you can switch to different filters and the EQ changes. Let's stick to heart. I want to play the sound now. As you can see, there's a lot of blank frequency that I don't want to listen to. I could just cut that frequency. Now that you're done editing the file, 
you're ready to share it. Happy auscultation.